Today, Florida Democratic lawmakers, they were in our nation's capital. They unveiled proposed legislation to aid those trying to finance their fight against what critics decry as book censorship. WPTV News Channel 5's Chris Gilmore has the very latest on those behind this bill and from local families still advocating for parental involvement in education. The Fight Book Bans Act is exactly what it sounds like. Introduced by Max Frost on Capitol Hill today, a pushback against the wave of bans and restrictions affecting not only the state of Florida, but the country. Everybody in. Eric Williams has several roles, but the one he says he's most proud of is father. That is your number one title, your job, is to train your children to make sure that they can be the best that they can be. Taking his kids to the library is a regular family outing, giving them full access the to the world of reading. The same can't be said for students in the public school system in Florida. If you're banning books about the past because you're ashamed of the past, that's not helping anybody as far as what we can learn from this. Florida makes up 40% of book bans in the country last year, according to Penn America. William says a lot of the titles touch on topics he says are sensitive. I think when it comes down to sexuality and things like that, that's not something that kids need to worry about because you make so many changes from the time you know, you're know you just now starting to learn about things to the time you graduate. The recently released report shows a 33% increase in book bans this past school year compared to the year before. The Democratic congressman hailing from Central Florida, Maxwell Frost's response is the proposed Fight Book Bans Act. And I'm proud to introduce the Fight Book Bans Act, legislation that will help our school boards and school districts um, overcome these relentless attacks on our civil rights and civil liberties and academic freedom. The legislation would fund up to $100,000 for school districts in the costly process of challenging book bans. If passed, the total money set aside for the bill would be $15 million. Despite the challenges to bans, Williams says parents should still have a say in their child's education. going to fight book bans then you also have to have parents being involved as far as saying, okay, these are okay for our, ki our kids, these are not. In West Palm Beach, Chris Gilmore, WPTV somebody. News Channel 5. And we do want to mention conservative groups are on record saying that the term banned books is being tossed around too loosely, saying that the number of books being taken off shelves is being exaggerated. Conservatives also are arguing that many of the books are not being banned, but are being placed in age-appropriate sections of that same library.